Welcome to St John's for our weekly update. Uh, today I'm in the North Isle, surrounded by the wonderful pictures by Geraldine Wheeler, which portray uh, St Francis of Assisi's canticle of the creatures. The, one, the two uh, creatures featured today as giving praise to God are those who forgive for love of God and uh, our sister bodily death. Uh, the idea of death being a creature that gives praise to God was a radical claim in St Francis's time. And it's believed that he added the verse about our sister bodily death as a creature that gives praise to God shortly before his own death. As I say, it was a radical claim in St Francis's time because Europe was being ravaged by a significant number of diseases and during that time, uh, the population of Europe was diminished greatly by disease. So it's an image that speaks to us in our time as we live with the deep fear of COVID and its effect on uh, our loved ones and our lifestyle and our capacity to see one another and to be in touch. The idea that Sister Death is a creature that gives praise to God. It's an uncomfortable space for us to enter for reflection. The COVID pandemic is really starting to have an effect here in South East Queensland and in fact across Australia except for in Western Australia. As you would be aware the infection rate here in Australia is now one of the highest in the world per capita. So that has led to a uh, Australia being taken off the free to travel list uh, for some countries which is really quite ironic given that we've uh, banned people from coming here for so long and now we're being prevented from going to other places. It does mean that uh, we have to think carefully here at the Cathedral how we manage the pandemic. Uh, our stewards are doing a fantastic job of checking people in to ensure that they are fully vaccinated and I'm really grateful for the way in which uh, people have responded to that need as we try to keep one another safe. Uh, it does mean that we've had to think deeply about how um, choirs can operate in this environment and we're still trying to work out uh, the protocols that will enable choir music to resume which means the uh, return of the choir has been delayed. Originally the choir was going to return for this coming Sunday. Uh, Sunday morning at 9.30 we will have another congregational uh, sung Eucharist this week uh, for the feast of the presentation, one of the great and beautiful feasts of the church year. It's the day we all get to um, have a candle. Uh, unfortunately this year we can't process because of the fact that a procession would cause us to uh, lose all of our distancing. There is plenty of room here at the cathedral if you want to come and distancing is being encouraged and practiced by the congregation. So it is, a, it is a safe place to be and we aim to keep it as safe as possible. If you do need to stay at a distance, do remember that we offer all, all our acts of worship on YouTube and that includes um, even the song from this Sunday. We have a small group of singers who will offer even song for us and that will be streamed so even song streaming resumes uh, this weekend also if you do need to stay at a distance so remember that many of our cathedral activities are happening on zoom as well as in person and some such as the meditation group tuesday coffee and the journey are occur occurring on zoom only as we move towards February, many of our regular activities return to the life of the cathedral. The uh, next activity to return is a wasting time with God. Uh, and on Wednesday morning, the 2nd of February, we will be joined by Mengistu Halu from the Romero Centre. He will be talking about the work of that wonderful centre with refugees and people seeking asylum. 
And Mengistu has uh, decided to call his presentation Sharing Delight uh, because there are many positive stories that come out of the work of the Romero Centre, which is connected with uh, Baruna Farm, which is based at St Francis College. So a really positive story, an encouraging story, and therefore a story that gives us hope and encourages us to continue our work of advocating for people who are refugees, and as you'll know, uh, some genuine refugees um, ha have been locked up for over nine years now here in this country, a country where we say we value freedom and encourage people to flourish. Please do remember outreach through offerings. Uh, this month we're supporting Act for Peace and their emergency appeal for the people of Afghanistan. As you would be aware, the plight of people in Afghanistan has become incredibly dire. I was reading a story the other day of someone who had already sold all of her children uh, to make ends meet and uh, now was in the process of selling her kidney. It's a really tragic, uh, desperate situation. So if you can help the uh, Outreach Through Offerings Appeal for January, uh, please do so. And a reminder that uh, Act for Peace also has a Tongan Relief Appeal going at the same time, and you can access uh, both of those appeals on the Cathedral website. In terms of celebrations this week, we have a really special celebration, a wonderful celebration, and that is to congratulate Charles Clark on being awarded an OAM in the Australia Day Honours. Uh, Charles is a really dedicated uh, person uh, who's involved in so many groups, uh, has been a great encourager and enabler of church music in the Anglican Church across many years. Uh, that contribution has been recognised as well as his contribution to a significant number of other community-based organisations. So uh, congratulations Charles, well-deserved award. Thank you for the messages of encouragement we receive from you as we seek to uh, provide some leadership as we move through this COVID pandemic as we charter uncharted waters, as we move through uncharted waters, I should say. Uh, we are incredibly encouraged. Um, thank you for the way you are caring for one another. As you would be aware, uh, quite a few people have decided they need to remain at a distance while this uh, COVID surge takes place. So please, uh, during the week, do, if you think of someone, give them a call and stay connected uh, because we need to stay connected as well as staying safe. Peace be with you.